teaching yourself something is the ultimate I feel like it's the ultimate creation because you're going from no understanding to a new level of understanding. And I think that's really, that's what drives, it's curiosity. Curiosity drives a lot of what I do. Um, and then sometimes I film it and sometimes I just like do it for myself. <laughs> hey YouTube world, it's me, Evelyn. Hey YouTube world, it's me, Evelyn. Hey YouTube world, it's me, Evelyn. I've always been interested in media. I've been that kid who would like dub VHS and cassette tapes and, you know, burn things onto DVDs and then the internet. So when it came time for college, I knew I wanted to go into journalism. The year was 2008. Um, that's when I started college. I went to college knowing that the industries that I was planning to go into weren't going to be just like the best landscape. I thought to myself, I should have another skill besides um, reporting and writing. I already had a YouTube channel and I was kind of using it. And so I said, okay, while I am in journalism school, I'm going to continue to upload to my personal YouTube channel to teach myself videography, teach myself editing. I'm not here for that means I don't like it. Very simply put, like I am not the one. I don't, I don't wish to engage in such behaviors. I don't wish to associate with such things. I'm not here for that. So I'm about to tell you five things I'm not here for. But first, hoodie time! Because YouTube was never my focus in the beginning, I didn't have as much, um, I wasn't paying as close attention to when I got like my first 1,000 subscribers, my first 10,000 subscribers. And so I think when I first realized that, oh, this could be something bigger is years and years down the line when I was head of video strategy at my full-time job, post-college, many years post-college, and realizing that I now have to juggle these two very demanding things and I couldn't anymore. So that was around 2017 where I was like, oh, I have to pick one. And I chose my YouTube channel. I chose my online presence. And so that's what I'm doing now. I was minding my own business posting a video every day in April, which is a thing that people like to do on YouTube or August. And it's called Veda, vlog every day in April or August. And Lemonade came out. I made my review video. I was very excited. Beyonce was giving me waiting to exhale meets their eyes were watching God. Eve's Bayou meets Lisa Left Eye Lopez. We're gonna wear our hair product free. If you got baby hairs, wear that. If you got afros, wear that. I thought Lemonade was fantastic. When I realized that my review was being played as like an interlude on Beyonce's world tour. We're gonna wear our hair product free. If you got baby hairs, wear that. Hey, still don't fully think it happened. I don't, I, I don't know. Where do we go from here? I use comedy as a way to like talk about difficult topics. Not all the time, but whenever, you know, the spirit moves me. If I got you a face sitting down inside to enjoy food, meanwhile, your server looks like this, suited in booted we cannot be associated with each other yes i'm changing accents midway through the sentence i don't care comedy is a coping mechanism it's what i use to poke fun at the unjust things around us because 
um, all the isms and phobias are absurd and humor is just like understanding the absurd. Friedman's just, Bureau Hotline, how can I assist role. you today? All right. Oh, you want to fight racism? Okay. <laughs> it's going to take a while, sister. <laughs> The thing about YouTube is the feedback is almost instant. If I talk about um, being the child, being a first generation American, I can get comments from, um, you know, Mexican American people who are like, oh girl, I get what you're saying. I can get comments from Indian Americans or, you know, Nigerian British people who are like, girl, yes, I understand exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, so when it, when it comes to the unsavory comments, I always have to remind myself that usually they are not part of my community. Um, I'm always down for constructive criticism and great feedback, but I can always tell when they just searched a term or they just saw my face and that led them to leave a comment. Um, but they don't even go here, you know? So I can always tell, and that helps me kind of distance myself from taking something so personal. Especially since in the past couple months, I've gotten contacted to talk on this panel or be part of this project. And when I respond to those emails, I send my catalog of videos that I've already made. Um, there's no need for me to do extra labor and talk and watch more things. I've, a lot of us have been doing this and sharing our stories, sharing our perspective um, for years. Have you ever just wanted to call in black to work? You heard what I said. Another unarmed black person assaulted and or murdered. Sometimes I need a minute, okay? And that's where calling in black would be so clutch. It feels too little too late. And it's a weird feeling to be glad someone finally sees you, <laughs> but then you begin to question, why were you ignoring this? all the times before. I had to, you know, get into my meditation. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And let the clap back begin, sis, because they got about four or five seconds to hop off our every last nerve. No, that's, that's not what we're doing. To not be bitter, because it's very easy to feel bitter, um, but you know, everybody has their own timing <laughs> and you just have to, I guess, have a little grace, a little patience um, because ultimately that's what I would want to. So my advice, my advice, so my advice is to Go easy on yourself. There isn't, you'll never know what was the right idea or like what was the right choice or option. You just have to choose and see where it leads you because hindsight is 2020. And this is something I wish somebody told me way back when, you can always change your mind. Like you can, there are very few things in life where you can't go back but your job is not one of them. You can switch your job anytime you want.